Greetings children of the screen, your friendly neighborhood nerds come here again with another Quick Thoughts video. And today we'll be talking about Venomized number 1 by Cullen Bunn with Ivan Kello and Matt Yaki. Uh, so yeah, this book is a continuation of the villain set up in the Venomverse event. In fact, it's like the, I believe it's the conclusion to that whole thing. Where like basically they introduced the characters known as the Poisons, who are like an interdimensional, or not interdimensional, but they're from another dimension, and they feed off of symbiotes. And basically they ended up bringing their war to another world where there was a symbiote Captain America who was pulling together symbiotes from all different realities to fight them. So in this story, uh, those characters are back. And mind you, there is a little bit that I missed out on because they've been running a story arc through Venom and X-Men Blue that kind of relates to this, which I was not following at all because I don't read X-Men Blue. Um, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it, it's just not for me. I don't really want a sitcom version of the young X-Men. That's, that's not why I read X-Men, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, like, this uh, issue starts off with the X-Mansion, where we have a couple of kids who think they see the X-Force in the distance coming up, and then they just get riddled with basically symbiote bullets. Like, it is a, the bone version of the, uh, or I'm sorry, the bone poison version of the uh, X-Force from an alternate reality. And basically they're shooting everyone with these symbiote bullets that are literally are just bullets that have symbiotes, and then the symbiotes attach to them, and they come through the X-Mansion and just like symbiote up a whole bunch of dudes, and then we cut around and we see that this is actually happening like all over New York City. It happens to Spider-Man, it happens to Thor and Hercules, it happens to a whole bunch of other characters. By the way, this uh, story takes place before the death of Jane Foster Thor, so she's the Thor in question in this. It's weird that in this one we have her becoming a like Venom symbiote, and then over in uh, Doctor Strange she became a Ghost Rider. So we see Spider-Man go to the church like he did previously with a symbiote to try to use the sonics of the bell ring to get it off of him. That's when Peter realizes that basically these symbiotes have somehow been altered so that once they're on a person they can't be taken or they can't remove themselves willfully from that person or even like to save themselves they can't do that so clearly the poisons have done something to the symbiotes um in order to kind of basically I, what i believe is weaponize their food source um but about that time we see the x-men and venom showing up from their little adventure which as i said i did not read um and basically they're coming trying to warn everyone on earth of this but of course they are too late and as this is going on, we also see the poisons, while all the heroes are distracted with these other things, breaking into the Ravencroft State, or I'm sorry, not the Ravencroft State, the Ravencroft Hospital for like the mentally insane. It's like, um, if you're not familiar with it, it's like Spider-Man's version of Arkham uh, Asylum, basically. And so yeah, they break in there, and what they're looking for is Carnage, because for those of you who did not read it, in the Venomverse event, it was discovered that the symbiote of Carnage can like counteract the poisons. So they clearly want to find him so they can take him off the table, but when they find him, he has traces of the symbiote in his body, but like because but he's not he does not carrying carnage but there are traces in him and because of those traces like their new symbiotes can't bond to him so they just do like weird experiments and stuff and we see that like the both the also established in like venomverse we saw that like the uh, poisons could cause hallucinations and stuff like that and we see that like the two main like planner or overseer poisons are thanos and dr doom and the hallucinations that are propelling them are for Thanos, it is Lady Death who's propelling him. And for Doctor Doom, it is the spirit, I believe, of his dead mother. That's the only person I can think of. I didn't see it actually referenced by name. But if you don't know the idea, like, Doctor Doom's mother was like a sorcerer and she ended up getting sent to hell. And, like, it's a whole thing. There's a great Doctor Strange story where, like, Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom team up and go to hell to try to save his mother's soul. It's really, really awesome. But that's not what we're talking about right now. So anyway, elsewhere we see that Captain America and a few of the Avengers have made their way to the X-Mansion, which then solidifies our three teams. We have our Captain America with the main X-Men or the X-Men Gold. Then we have Venom with the uh, X-Men Blue, along with, you know, Thor and freaking Hercules and Spider-Man, and then we have our villains set up. 
So we've got a decent foundation laid for this six part event. And overall, I would say that like the writing from Cullen Bunn was good, like it worked. Um, the dialogue was fun and it moved, like the book moved at a decent pace. There were a few blocks of exposition that were a little tough to get through, but like I imagine when you're setting something up like this, that's, you know, you're going to have that from time to time. The artwork is also really awesome, like I really enjoyed it. Now, having said those things, here's the thing, like the poisons were introduced over a year ago in the Venomverse event. And this whole, this is like the, con I'm thinking, at least I believe this is the conclusion of that whole thing, of the poisons. But again, I didn't read the previous arc that ran through X-Men Blue, and I frankly don't know anybody who did, so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to carry over from that, but the truth of the matter is that, like, so it's been so long since the poisons were introduced, because, like, at the end of that event of Venomverse, I was ready for it. I was down for that story, man, and then it didn't come for a while, and then they started the thing in X-Men Blue, which I don't read, as I've said, like, three times. So, like, I honestly, while this wasn't a bad book, I honestly just didn't care. I just wasn't invested. I don't know if it's that they stretched this thing out for too long, or if the poisons have just, like... The coolness of them has run their course with me because I know that a lot of people didn't really like Venomverse as much as I did. I was cool with it. Like, it wasn't amazing, but it was fun. And, you know, like, this issue seems like it could be a setup for something fun. I'm probably going to check out the next one just to see how it goes. But, uh, truth is, I just don't really care. You know? Like, I'll check it out because it's there, but I'm not invested. I don't really care what happens at this point. You know? But, you know, anyway, guys, those are just my thoughts. Did you guys check out Venomized? Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it. And if you like this video, please leave a like and share it with some friends. That's more important now than ever with everything YouTube is changing up on us small YouTubers. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you can get updates on all the dope content I'll have coming out in the future. Thank you very much for your time, guys. Have a good one. Nerd Scum, out.